viewers welcome to the today's topic today's topic is the a priori algorithm in the data warehousing and data mining subject myself priyanka gupta i am working as a assistant professor in department of computer science and engineering data science at the institute of aeronautical engineering hyderabad so let us start so today i is going to cover the topics what is a priori algorithm what are the different property of algorithm what are the steps for there uh, if we are going to apply for the algo a priori algorithm we are, if we are going to mine some of the frequent item sets so in the algorithm we are going to see what is the algorithm how the algorithm has been written and the algorithm candidate generation what is the function for there and one of the example so the a priori algorithm so this algorithm use two steps join and prune join and prune to reduce the search space so it is an iterative approach basically we have to search for the uh, uh, different item set fre uh, frequently so that will be the uh, iterative in nature so it is an iterative approach to discover the most of the frequent item set so in this uh, if while we are going to do that there will be the steps in that we have to join uh, some of the uh, frequent item set as well as we have to prune some of the uh, different frequent item set so what is what the, uh, what do we mean by join what do we mean by join so joining is nothing but we have to join the frequent item sets together there can be the one item set there can be uh, then after that we have to make the two item set that is occurring together so we have to make the combination of the different item sets that will be the joining what is pruning in that the pruning is nothing but that the those are the item set that is not occurring together that is not occurring together that is the, there is no probability they will uh, occur in the future also so we have to remove those of the frequent item set from the data set so that will be the prune prune property for the prune property for the that item scan so what the a priori algorithm says the a priori algorithm says that the probability that item i is not frequent why when first step first is when pi is less than minimum support of threshold so then the i will not be frequent so if the minimum frequent uh, pattern uh, the minimum support is not uh, is uh, less than the that that uh, greater than the that the the item will not be frequent the uh, p of i plus a is less than the minimum support of threshold then the i plus a will not be frequent as a two item set where a also belong to the item set right the uh, next if the item set uh, has a value less than the minimum support then all of its superset what are the supersets of there that for the that uh, minimum support that will also fall below minimum support that will also come uh, that will also uh, calculate as a minimum support because uh, that can be after that that can be ignored if minimum support is there that can be ignored so this of the property is called as a anti monotone property so the in the a priori algorithm a priori algorithm the property is uh, the property is first property is when the pi is less than minimum support threshold then i will not be frequent uh, the combination of that p plus uh, pi plus a uh, is less than minimum support threshold then the i plus a will not be frequent where the a also belong to the item sets so here if uh, that is there the, uh, we uh, if the support is less than these so we have to ignore that we have to remove that so the property called as a anti monotone property so in the a priori property all subset of a frequent item set can be frequent that can be uh, that is the a priori property so if an item set is infrequent all its supersets will be infrequent so what we have seen in that uh, property if an item set will not be frequent 
then their superset will also not be the frequent right so the key concept of the a priori algorithm is the anti monotonicity of the support measure so in that we have to uh, remove that those of the item sets so the a priori algorithm is a sequence of steps to be followed to find and uh, the most frequent item set in the given database so uh, the a priori algorithm does to scan the frequent item set from the database so this data mining techniques follows the join and prune right so join and prune steps that have we have seen um, in the earlier slide so that is uh, going to be occur frequently iteratively so that is nothing but uh, for the first item set again for the second item set again and for the other item set we have to search for the uh, uh, frequent mining item sets so that will be iterative in nature until the most frequent item set will be achieved so then that will be stops so a minimum support threshold is given into the problem or it can be assumed by the user so we have to set the minimum support what what is the minimum support for the these of the uh, scans so <coughs> any of the transactions we have to set set the Uh, minimum support for that then only the scan will be there A scan we have to search we we have to um, we have to set uh, if we have set the uh, confidence we have to we have set the support then we have to compare that from the different item sets so that will be the, that will be set by us right so uh, in the uh, a priori properties step the first step is the first iteration of the algorithm each item will be taken as a one item set candidate so uh, i am telling it in a broad way so we will see step by steps so in the first search in the first step we have to search for the first iteration of the algorithm then each of the item will be taken as a first item set for one item set one item set candidate so we will search for that in the that database the algorithm will count the occurrence of each of the items how many times the items has been occur in the transaction then in the step 2 uh, they, if there is a minimum support uh, sup, suppose 50% so the set of one item set whose occurrence will be satisfied uh, with the 50% what we have uh, set what we have determined so we uh, only those of the candidate uh, those uh, minimum support is more than the 50% that will be counted that which count more than or uh, equal to the minimum support so that will be taken ahead for the next iteration and the other will be uh, pruned that will be removed from the item transactions so in the next step third step the uh, two item set frequent item set with one minimum support will be uh, searched will be discovered so for this in this joint step uh, the two item set will be generated we have to search for the two item set that has been occurred uh, frequently so uh, before by forming a group of the two by combining the two items itself we have to search for the that so again we have to uh, by uh, ourselves we have to uh, we have to combine two of the items as a two item set and then we have to search how many times two items has has been occur in the transaction for this uh, this step next step then in the next four step we have to search that we we have got the two item set right so the uh, two item set candidate will be pruned so then again the that two item set will be removed and then we have to uh, we have to search for the two item uh, now the table will have the two item set with the minimum support only so the candidates will be removed and the, then only will be the item sets that is satisfying with the minimum support 50% so in the next 5 fifth step the next iteration will be formed for the three item sets using the join and prune steps so again uh, this iteration will follow the auto no, monotone property where the subsets of three item set the uh, that is two item set of each of the group fall in the 
minimum support. So that will be compared with the minimum support that is 50% and then the two item set candidates will be will be removed and then the three item set will be taken. So if the all the two item set subsets are frequent in that transaction, so the superset will be the frequent item set. Otherwise, it, we have to remove from the transaction. So like that, we have to go for the three item sets. So in the, uh, from that step five, we have got the three item set. Then in step six, uh, we will follow the making the four item set. So for the making four item set, we have to join the three item set with itself uh, from the one, uh, one item set. And then we have to uh, search for the uh, four item set what are uh, occurring together frequently. So then if we will get, uh, uh, we will uh, compare it with the minimum support that is 50%. Then if uh, that is satisfying that condition, we will get the uh, that four item set and others who are not supporting that, we have to prune that, we have to remove that from the, uh, these of the transactions. And if its subset is there, so if uh, that does not meet, we have to remove that from the minimum support criteria. So this algorithm will, uh, will be stopped when the most frequent item will not be there, will not be achieved. So in this five, six, uh, six step, we have to do these of the join and prune uh, uh, steps all iterate all in iterative nature for to join and for to uh, like for to make uh, item sets and for to remove item set from the different data set. So the algorithm that is in iterative uh, algorithm that is also called as a level wise algorithm that is level wise search. So in that the uh, we have to find the all one items frequent item set then all two item frequent item sets and after that three four like that so in each iteration k only consider item sets that is uh, that contains the some k minus one frequent item sets so uh, then then we have to find the frequent item sets of size one so for that the the frequent item set will be F1. So from K is equal to 2, the CK is equal, CK is equal to, that is nothing but the candidate of size K. So that is, K is nothing but the size of the, size of the data base. So here from those item set of size K, that could be frequent given FK minus 1. So FK is nothing but those item set that are actually frequent that is uh, really there in the data set. So FK uh, will be the superset of a uh, superset and equal to the CK that will need it to be scanned from the database that we need to search from the database T. So like that, the algorithm, the, uh, the a priori algorithm will work in the nature. So, the order of items he here is the item in and R will be sorted in lexicographic order. So which is the total order of the, uh, the set. So the order will, will, is going to use throughout the algorithm in uh, searching for the each item set. So if there is W1, W1, W2 to WK that represent a K item set. W that consisting of items W1, W2, WK. So that is, that are the items of W1, W2, WK. So where the W, W1 will be less than, uh, and uh, uh, then W2 that will be less than to W3, so on to WK. So according to the total order. So like this, the um, orders of I items will be go on. So that is the, uh, detailed a priori algorithm which we have seen in the earlier examples. So in this the algorithm uh, a priori algorithm will be written as uh, for T database that is nothing but the database T. Database T. So uh, for the C1 that will be the init pass for the T database then the frequent, uh, frequent item set generation F1 that depends on uh, the F is a set of c1 and f dot count uh, divided by n that will be the greater than equal to minimum support. So for each of the transaction the candidate generation function will be there and like that 
uh, we have to search for the each of the transaction so that uh, the data the algorithm is written like that for uh, that is using the for loops three of the for loops and then the uh, repetition of the these of the steps will be there so the a priori uh, candidate generation function will be there. The candidate generation function that is taking the f k minus one at that is going to return a superset. That is nothing but the candidate. So that we are calling as a candidate here in the this algorithm. So that is the all uh, that is a set of all of the super frequent uh, items, frequent k item sets. So it is having the two steps. In the algorithm, that is nothing but the join step. First is the join step. Second is the prune step. So the join is nothing but we have to we have to make uh, from the uh, if we are getting the one item set, then we have to go for the two item set that is occurring together with what is frequently occurring together for the one transaction. So for to generate two item set, we have to we have to apply the join step. We have to join them as a candidate key. Uh, in the prune step, we have to remove which is not satisfying the minimum threshold value. So that is uh, less than the threshold value. We have to remove, we have to prune the item set from the transaction database. So for join a step, the, uh, we have to generate all possible candidate item set CK of length K. For the prune step, we have to remove those candidate in CK that cannot be frequent in nature. That is having the less than threshold value of the support. So that is a candidate generation function that is written in the in the uh, algorithm of the a priori. So in there, the three of the uh, for loop will be there. Here, uh, the two uh, two of the for loop is there. So that is satisfying and that is having the joining and pruning steps here the, uh, for uh, for C, uh, C depends on I, I1 to IK minus 1. Here the joining steps will be there to join F1 and F2. So here in this we have to see delete C from the CK, the candidate key. So that is nothing but the we have to remove the uh, candidate from the transaction. So that is the that is the function written for through for to joining and pruning steps in the algorithm so for example if in example f3 is equal to that is a, a frequent item set f3 is uh, that is having the 1 2 3 1 2 4 1 3 4 1 3 5 and 2 3 4 in the one transaction so after the joining, if we are applying the mm, next item set, we are, we are searching for here is three item sets. They are having the three items, three item set. So if you are uh, searching for four item set, if you are searching for four item set, we have to join the uh, uh, join the well uh, join the items it together. So here uh, the the candidate key will be the uh, one two three four and one three four five that is occurring frequently. So the, that that uh, that will be the joining step in this from this transaction. And uh, if uh, we have removed some of the uh, uh, frequent items uh, that is not the frequent item set, some of the item sets from there, they are one two three four. So if we are removing that, that is not a frequent item set. So we have to prune that because of one four five will not be there in the F three. So there will be the there, we have to remove the one three four five. So we have to keep the one two three four and we have to remove the one three four five from the item because one four five is not there occurring in the this set. So that was the example for candidate key generation with the joining and pruning steps. So on a priori algorithm that is uh, because of the steps and iterative in nature that we uh, can call as expensive but that is having the level wise search to search for the different frequent item sets where the k is the size of the largest item set but um, some of the time it takes a more most k passes over the database over the data in that practice uh, we have to do it for the 10 of the iterations 10 of the transactions so for uh, 
because of the iterative nature it can be expensive while we are going to while we are searching for the different uh, frequent item set for the different transaction more than 10 transactions so we have to bound this for the k is equal to 10 transactions so that will be the ideal transactions for the different frequent item set uh, in the algorithm this algorithm uh, that is very very fast in nature because uh, some of the conditions are there where all the rule can be found in the uh, linear time that can be found in the linear time because uh, the data the, the database that is uh, frequent that is that is having the linear database but on that we have to apply these of the frequent frequent item set we have to search for the frequent item set that will go on as a linear so we we will have the linear time for that so the algorithm will be very very fast on the uh, some of the larger database we have to uh, we have to improve for that because that that will be bounded till uh, more than um, till 10 uh, transactions we have to uh, the uh, the we have to prove this uh, algorithm for the more than 10 uh, item 10 of the transactions so that we can scale up for the larger database in the future more um, what are the association rules uh, mining uh, like functions so clearly the space uh, for all the association rule is exponential because it uh, that is iterative in nature so that is o to of the m that is uh, more than the space where m is the number of items in i uh, in the i so the mining exploits spareness of the data as well as the high minimum support and we can say the high minimum confidence values so the mining will not support these of the uh, high minimum support and uh, high uh, minimum confidence values so that will exploit and that will be spare of the data still it always produces a huge number of transactions huge number of rules so the, if there will be a huge number of rules thousands of rules ten thousands of rules millions millions of rules so uh, that will produce more and more spareness of data so still it is uh, going on but we have to uh, search for the better uh, better space uh, utilizations for the minimum uh, high minimum support and high minimum confidence so uh, as the algorithm that uh, we have seen in the earlier lecture the algorithm is having the uh, joining of the different item sets so there will be the uh, a combination of the different item set if there is a uh, transaction there are some transactions so we have to search for the different two item set uh, transactions again we have to search for the three item set transactions so uh, that will that will come under the joining step joining steps in the in the uh, iterations in the uh, while we are going to search for the one scan so uh, in the uh, in that there will be the possibility there will be the uh, uh, removation of the item sets so what are the uh, item sets are there that is not up to that is not uh, uh, equal to the minimum support or uh, that is less than the equal uh, minimum support so those are the item sets from the each of the transactions we have to remove by the pruning pruning of the data set so for searching of the space we have to search for the these of the two steps joining and pruning so that um, the in the iterative nature there will be the less space uh, again and again we don't have to add these of the item sets as a frequent item sets so in first step we have to search for that if that is there we have to take that uh, as a frequent item set otherwise we have to remove those of the items from the that transaction so that uh, because of these of the uh, iterative nature that will become the uh, it uh, that, that will become the uh, for each of the uh, uh, we can say each of the uh, step it will become the iterative in nature in first scan second scan third scan fourth scan for e how many item sets are there for that we have to make the combination we we have to make the frequent item set that is coming bind together so that is coming that is depending together so that that will be the iterative in nature so for to discover the different item set so 
in this uh, two uh, in this of the two of the three of the property of the a priori algorithm uh, what we have to satisfy we have to check if there is a minimum support threshold is there we have said so if the item that we uh, we have taken as a frequent item set we have searched for if you will take a one item set we have to search for the minimum support uh, is less than uh, that is uh, minimum support is 50% that it should be the less than the uh, greater than the minimum support or uh, equal to the minimum support so if uh, that is not there that the item will not be frequent in that items uh, in that transaction in that database so we have to remove the, those of the frequent non frequent items from there second we have to go for the combination if you are going for the uh, two item set we have to search for the minimum support threshold more than 50% is there then that will be the frequent item set otherwise we have to remove that item set from the these of the transaction so in the a priori algorithm uh, what are the uh, if there is a superset of the item set there is a uh, minimum support that is less than uh, uh, 50% if we have set 50% that is minimum to that we that has to be removed so that removation of the uh, that is pruning of the item sets we uh, we are calling that as a property as a anti monotone property so uh, as the a priori property is there we have seen that there will be the all subsets of a frequent item set that will be the uh, frequent in nature the second that if the uh, item set is not frequent the all the superset will not be frequent that we have to remove those of the infrequent item sets so the key concept of a priori algorithm is anti monotonicity so in that we have to measure the uh, support for that support how we will uh, calculate the support support is nothing but support is the uh, how many number of items are there how many numbers of items are there in um, database in one transaction uh, basically uh, so we have to divide by the total total number of number of transactions total number of uh, total number of uh, items i think total numbers of items in database in database so we have to we have we will get the support from that so if there is a, if we have said the uh, that is 50% if the, there will be the possibility the half of the items is there in the uh, one transaction that is uh, more than 50% so uh, that is 50% if there is a possibility 50% that uh, item set are there as a frequent so we have to check for the frequent item set on the basis of uh, support so uh, we have to do the different uh, we have to check for the minimum support threshold in the given example we have to uh, we have to compare this uh, minimum support with the with the one item set candidate key two item set candidate key and so on so that how like that the algorithm will go on for the each of the item sets so in the example we have uh, uh, we can say if there is an example there is a uh, three four i uh, if there is a five uh, transactions there is a one two three item there is a one three five items there is a one uh, three four items there is a one two three items there is a five one item five two items right so in this transaction what are the uh, frequency of the one item so what is the frequency of one here one two three four four what is the frequency of two there is one two three three times it has been occurred so this will be the one item set this will be the like that three four five we have to check this will be the free, uh, one item set again we have to search for the, the uh, again what we got the list in that list we have to search for the what are the combination if there is 1 2 1 3 right 1 5 2 3 so this will be the uh, so like that we have to search for the if two uh, there is a two combination of two uh, that is a frequency of 1 2 that is occurring again and again so we will take as a 
frequent item set again we will take as a uh, that combination as a three item set we have to we have to add that with the uh, what will be the our first transactions uh, what are the different items were there so for each of the items we we have to make the combinations with that and then we will go for the two set item set three set item set like that so for each of the iteration the, the obviously the memory will go on so for this uh, algorithm that will count till the each of the items so uh, for the uh, as we I, as i have said for the one item set the occurrence we have to check what are what are the occurrences are there then it is satisfying minimum support or not then after that we have to take that item set as a frequent item set so more than uh, more than uh, minimum support if the uh, the uh, occurrence will be there the minimum support will be the more than one per, uh, 50% then the item will be there for as a frequent item set so in the next iteration for the two item set again we have to join the step and then the two item set will be generated so we have to join the two item set with the with the for one items one uh, what are the uh, earlier items were there we have to join the that and then the two uh, item set will be generated and that we have to we have to combine that and we have to search for the uh, minimum support w what are the support are there so that uh, that we will check with the minimum support uh, which we have set as a 50 percent then the uh, that will search for the thresh uh, that will that uh, that will be searched for the 50% more than 50% threshold if that is there that is frequent otherwise we have to remove those of the item sets from the that uh, transaction so what are the uh, what are the value what are the items two item sets are there that is more than 50% that we will take as a frequent item set for the next iteration we we have to take for the three item set so again like that uh, uh, again and again we have to search for that till that we are not getting the frequent item set as a super as a combination of sets so like that we have to check it and we have to prune and remove those of the item set from that so like that uh, it will be repeated till uh, we will not get the most frequent item set uh, from the database from the transactions so till that it will be stopped and then uh, we will get the most frequent item set as a uh, final item set so that will be the frequent uh, frequent final uh, final frequent item set from the database so that was all about the uh, uh, algorithm principles that how the uh, candidate key generation will be there how that uh, pruning and joining steps are going on and um, into the uh, into the algorithm how uh, what are the different uh, uh, steps are there for, uh, what are the loops are there they are generating the joining and pruning steps so that was all about the today's lecture thank you for watching like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates